What is a gerund? We will begin by learning exactly what a gerund is, learning what is meant by a gerund phrase, and we'll learn how we use gerunds in sentences. We will then explain what is not a gerund. We'll explain how to avoid confusion between progressive verbs and gerunds, and we'll learn how to identify the verbal phrase in a sentence and the gerund in the sentence. It may sound like a lot to take in, but we're going to do all of that. Number one, take a note of this, please. What is a gerund? A gerund is a verb with the letters ing at the end. Second point, number two, not all verbs with ing at the end are gerunds, and that same rule applies for other words with ing at the end. Examples of words that can act as gerunds, but can also act as progressive verbs, right? Acting, painting, reading, winning. Notice the base form there, act, paint, read and win. We're adding a suffix there, the suffix being ing to the base form of these verbs. Number three, we call the verb with the ing at the end a gerund when it acts like a noun. Number four. A gerund is also known as a verbal noun. Many people have never heard of gerunds because they know them as verbal nouns or basically as nouns. Remember that there will be a quiz at the end, okay? So please take notes as you go along. However, don't look at your notes when answering the questions because it will defeat the whole purpose of the lesson. Here's a gerund in a gerund phrase. Talking too quickly is hard for others to understand. Notice there, talking is the gerund and it's acting as the subject of that sentence. Gerunds are verbal nouns, right? Gerunds act much, much more like nouns than verbs. In many cases, just like with standard nouns, you can put an adjective in front of them. Like here, for example, quick thinking is needed. Quick there is the adjective. Thinking is a gerund. Is needed. That there is the verbal phrase. Slow moving people can be annoying. Slow is the adjective. Moving is the gerund. Can be annoying is the verbal phrase. We also use adverbs to modify gerunds. Speaking clearly is important. Clear speaking is important. Notice there, clearly is the adverb, clear is the adjective. That's modifying the gerund. We commonly use gerunds when we talk of activities, and we do when you think about it. That's what we're talking about here. Many have the verb go in front of them. Notice how the gerund acts as the subject. I like to go swimming. They enjoy cycling. We play speed painting quite often. Strange thing to play. Uh, delivering the papers quickly will be appreciated. And playing carefully is important. We could also just say playing is important. But we've modified it there with the adverb carefully. There is a lot of talking going on in here. Her writing is always neat. He is good at running. I am thinking about eating soon. Again, notice how these letters that are all in capitals are gerunds and they are the subject of the sentence. 
They can be verbs, but not in these instances. Gerunds act as the subject or the subjects in a sentence. That's what they're doing. They're acting as the subject or the subjects in a sentence. Here's some gerund phrases for you. I am competing for the love of winning. We go swimming and dancing for the love of it. Notice there that swimming and dancing, what we had there was, we, what we had there, were a pair of gerunds. So we had compound gerunds in that example. We go swimming and dancing for the love of it. Compound gerunds there. Gerund phrases, more of them. Singing is fun. Walking quickly is just as good for you as running slowly. Professional dancing impresses me. Locking up at night is important. Again, do you see the, obviously I've made the gerunds, I put the gerunds into capitals. They're acting as the subject, the subject of the sentence. So to recap, a gerund is a verbal noun. They are verbs with the letters ing at the end of them. They generally refer to an action or activity. Verbs with ing at the end are only gerunds when they are a subject or are subjects in a sentence. Very important point that. It's only when they're acting as a subject. So let's explain gerund phrases for you. The second part of the sentence is giving a reason or an outcome for the first part when you think about it. Delivering the newspapers on time will please your customers. Right, this is so important, this second part of the lesson here. What is not a gerund? When the verbs with ing at the end of them are acting as progressive, also known as continuous verbs. We're going to be explaining all of that. So don't get them confused, please. Verbal phrases. I was wondering what to do. We are painting the room today. It is raining. The car has been running well lately. We will have been working on this for ages when Tina arrives. Now these were all examples of verbal phrases. There were no gerunds there at all. I was at, or you could say am, wondering what to do. We are painting the room today. It is raining. The car has been running well lately. What is going on outside? We will have been working on this for ages when Tina arrives. So you see there the verbs of ing at the end have other words joined onto them. And these other words are what we know as auxiliary verbs, helping verbs. So when we use the to be verb, right, that is am, are, is, was, were, in front of a verb with ing at the end of it, then these words are acting as progressive, also known as continuous verbs, and not gerunds. You see what they're doing? They're making up like a verbal phrase. And that is the way to distinguish a gerund from a continuous or progressive verb. Okay, so we're now going to show sentences with gerunds and verbal phrases in them. Identify the verb and or the verbal phrase and the gerund please. Ron remembers locking the door. I want you to identify the verb and the gerund in that sentence. Well the verb was remembers. Okay that's what's going on in the sentence and the gerund there was locking. The subject there was locking the door. The gerund obviously was locking This is an interesting one, this, right? This may cause a bit of confusion, but don't worry, I will explain it later. I am standing in the snow and thinking about playing pool. Can you tell me, can you tell me the verbs in that sentence? And can you tell me which word or words are gerunds? Well, we had compound verbs here. We had more than one. I am standing in the snow and thinking, right? We're doing two things here. 
and the Jerin was playing. <clears throat> we're thinking about an activity, we're thinking about playing. But what's going on in that sentence? I am standing and thinking. So you see that there is telling us what is going on in the sentence. So these were compound verbs. Ray is on the beach and is considering running. Well, that's me there, so I could also say I am on the beach and I am considering running. That's using another version of the to be verb. Tell me the verb and tell me the gerund there. It's a variable phrase, actually. The variable phrase, of course, is considering, right? Could have also had am considering if I'd written it that way. And, of course, the gerund was running. We could have elongated that sentence and said Ray is considering running home to see his friends. But running, obviously, is the gerund there. It's not telling us what's happening in the sentence. Not a gerund. Verbs which act as nouns without ing at the end. Very important. These aren't gerunds. I walk. Right, walk there is acting as a verb. It is a verb, actually. I like a good walk. Walk there is acting as a noun. We drink. Drink there is acting as a verb. A cool drink is nice. Drink there is acting as a noun. I work at school. Work there is acting as your verb. That is good work. Work there is acting as a noun. But these are not, not gerunds. Also, these aren't gerunds either. It's a nice building or it made a nice painting. These are static nouns. You can touch them, you can see them. If you can touch them or you can see them, they're a noun, a static noun, a noun, but they're not a gerund. Remember, a gerund is a verbal noun, right? It's different. It's different to... And also forget that some adjectives. I've got ing at the end too. Get your pen and paper ready, pause the video if you like, and write down 1 to 10. Well, I hope you're back after your pause. Question 1. How many gerunds are in this complex sentence? If you are always hoping for the best outcome, that will mean you are a positive-minded person. How many gerunds are in that complex sentence? Question 2. Remember, you can pause. Which sentence has a gerund in it? A. Driving is fun. B. They were driving yesterday. C. I am driving just now. Or is it D. They were driving and talking at the same time. Question number three. Which sentence has the variable phrase in it and no gerund? A. I will be locking up later. B. Tim remembers visiting that street. C. People talking very fast is common. Or is it D? Singing is good for the soul. Question four. Which word is the gerund in the sentence? I am busy typing and editing and simply can't consider socialising. Right, that's the British spelling of socialising there. Question four that was. We're on to question number five. Please get this one right. Okay. True or false? Gerunds are part of a variable phrase. True or false? Gerunds are part of a variable phrase. I'll be disappointed if you get that one wrong. Question six. Which sentence has the gerund in it? I have exciting news for you. B. I am creating a video. C. I am in the building. D. Answering the questions is important. Question 7. Remember you can pause. Which sentence has no gerund phrase in it? A. Being late is not acceptable. B. Trying hard is appreciated. C. I will be working hard on my homework tonight. Or is it D. I compete for the love of winning. Question number 8. What is the name for the compound verbs in this sentence? That's the verbs ending in ing. We are singing, dancing and clapping to the music. Now these verbs have a specific name there. 
What is it? Question 9. Which sentence has a gerund in it? We were studying yesterday. Or is it B? I was thinking about studying. C. She is studying hard. Or is it D? This is hard study. Which had the gerund in it there? Finally, on to number question 10. A gerund has what role in a sentence? What does it do? A. It acts as the describing word. B. It acts as the static noun. Is it C. It reveals the state of being or action? Or is it D. It acts as the subject? Right. And straight away, we don't mess around here on this channel, I can tell you. The answers, number one was none, are always hoping that was a verbal phrase. Two was A, driving is fun. Three, B, Tim remembers visiting that street well. Four is socialising. Five is false. Six is D, answering the questions is important. Seven is C, I will be working hard on my homework tonight. Question eight, you should have had progressive. You could have also written down continuous verbs. That's what they were, that sentence. And nine was B, I was thinking about studying, and ten was D, it acts as the subject. And that's all we have time for. I'll see you all in the next show. I hope you did well in the quiz. Bye for now.